Hey, what's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. I got something special that I'm going to cook up for you guys today. It's called coddle, or some people like to call it Dublin coddle. It's an Irish dish. It's been around since the 18th century, and basically it's just using bacon, uh, Irish bangers, or any kind of sausage you want. Uh, Irish bacon if you have it. If not, uh, pancetta works awesome. I've cooked it with pancetta tons of times. It gives it a ton of flavor if you use that. But uh, I'm going to show you how to cook this stuff up today. So uh, stick around. All right, guys. So our, our ingredient list here is this. We have five Irish bangers. We have eight slices of bacon, two pounds of potatoes, one very large onion, two carrots, and a quarter cup of parsley. And in here, I have about a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a tablespoon of garlic powder. All, as always, guys, seasonings are strictly up to your liking. Now we're gonna get this bacon going. Now I've cut my bacon in half just so it'll fit in this pot. We're gonna fry this bacon up until it's nice and crispy. All right, so we got all our bacon nice and crispy. Now we're gonna throw in, start throwing in our bangers. Don't drain off the bacon grease yet. See how much we got left when we're done. Ah, let's put them all in there. So while we're browning up this sausage, I figure I'll share a little bit of useless information with you. And the, they say, they being the scientists and the experts, which I'm not, nor a scientist or an expert, but they say that Back in the 1700s or whatever, this dish kind of came about because on uh, Fridays, which was uh, Irish Catholic days or whatever, they didn't eat meats on Fridays. So what would happen is the wife would take the scraps that they've had left over from the week, which would be uh, you know sausage or you know, bangers and bacon, and she would throw this together on Thursday night and. She'd be able to put it on the uh, stove or fire or whatever it was and let it simmer throughout the night while her husband was at the pub. And then, therefore, when he got home, this dish would be ready for him after a night of drinking and pouring or whatever it is they did back then. Gambling. Who knows? I know that's what I do. I whore, gamble, and then my wife has this you know, stuff ready for me when I get home. I like it. All right, it looks like our bangers are nice and browned up here. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove them. All right, so now we have a little bit of a decision to make here on whether or not you want to drain some of this bacon. And I personally think it's a little bit too much, so I'm gonna drain, I don't know, maybe a quarter or so of that off, maybe. I'll just pour it right on into the fire here. I'm gonna call that good. That was probably about half of it. All right, so now go ahead and add our onions in there. We're gonna just saute these up until they are translucent. And uh, again, guys, you can cook this on the stove perfectly fine. Actually, I thought about cooking it in my can cooker. Uh, it would've come out awesome in the can cooker. All right. All right, so now, guys, what you wanna do is cut up your sausages. And what I like to do is, eh, cut them in half, then cut them in half again. You can cut them smaller if you want, but cut all your sausages up 
the same size. I mean, you could actually even cut them in half again if you want. Strictly up to you. All right, we got our sausage cut up. So we're just gonna set them aside for a minute until our onions get done. Oh my goodness, guys. This looks delicious. Carolina Chris, cheers, my brother. But I'm choking down. Choking down this swill right here. But, I got some IPAs in there that I'm gonna have to bust out sooner or later. Man, a smoky fire today. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bust out an IPA later. Um, I didn't wanna, I mean, the IPA is uh, made by a company called Resin, and it's like a double IPA, and it's like 9% alcohol, but I don't wanna start drinking 9% alcohol. I'd be, uh, especially when I'm trying to make a video. All right, guys, so I think my onions are pretty much translucent, or about as translucent as I want. So now, go ahead, add all your bacon back, Go ahead and add your sausage. Just give it a little bit. Whoa, that is blasphemy right there. Sausage loss, banger loss. Shit. Ah. All right. Whew. Now we're gonna add our garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Just sprinkle that over the top. We add our, uh, start adding our potatoes. <sighs> Throwing in our carrots. Our parsley goes in there. Just add all, everything you got left. So now, what we're going to do is, can you see that? I have right here three cups, and it's a blend. It's a cup and a half of beef broth, and it's a cup and a half of chicken broth. Don't skimp on this now. Don't just use all chicken or all beef, because what I've found over the years is that when you 50-50 it, it lends a way better flavor. But if it's all you got, it's all you got. Here we go. Pour it all in there. Every smidgen. All right, now guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this up to a boil. We're gonna put the lid on it. And we're gonna bring it up to a boil. And then we're gonna simmer it. You may have to adjust the height of this thing if you need to. Okay, so we got it up to a nice rolling boil here, but you can see I'm a little bit low to the coals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this up a little bit. And hopefully I'm still in frame here. So yeah. Now we'll, this sh should be high enough for us to do a little simmer. Now, and I am going to put the lid on, but I'm having to remove this in order to take the lid off. So let's just do this here. Uh. There we go. So we don't know how long. I'm guessing maybe about an hour and a half or whatnot. All right, uh, we've been a, we're about an hour in. Let's see what it looks like here. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna set it back over here and just let y'all have a look. We are moving along quite nicely, guys. Um, I don't know 
Come on, let's just check. We, like I said, it's about an hour in. Oh my, we're tender, but uh, I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. I'm gonna let it go maybe about another half an hour. Let's see. What, oh man. Ooh oh man, that is tender. I don't know if I should let it go another half hour. All right, guys, I think this is done. Um, it's been about an hour and 10 minutes, roughly. Put it back up here so I can show you. Uh, let's, uh, let's give this stuff a sample. Some uh, juice in there. Alright, so I'm going to add a little bit of fresh parsley on here. Alright, let's give this stuff a sample. Are you still filming? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm burning my mouth off here. Oh man. So the sausage is totally freaking good. Mm. Man, that is so delicious. So, man, I don't even know how to explain this. It's kind of like a stew, but not really a stew. It's, um, I mean, it's very different, guys. Salt and pepper wise, I mean, what I added, and it was roughly a tablespoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. It's perfectly salted for my taste. Um, guys, really, you should really try, give this a try. It's so delicious. Dublin coddle, like you would coddle your children. Do it. So what do you have to say? You want to say, you know, Dublin coddle something maybe? Um, this is the Blarney Stone coddle. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say Irish or Dublin coddle? Do. Um, do. it looks like something from Ghana. No. <laughs> the Ivory Coast. <laughs> Swahili, perhaps? Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, do it. If you watch my videos, you'd know what the hell's it's going do on it. here. That's what you gotta say. Ready? I just like that. Just say Dublin coddle do it. Do it. <laughs> this.